Hey guys, Alex here. So I'm building this coffee table right now and I'm at the point where I'm going to start gluing up the case. I thought that this would be the perfect opportunity to show you how to use this Rockler dowel jig for a case assembly, which comes in quarter inch, three eighth inch, and half inch sizes and includes everything that you see here. Now, since I'm using three quarter inch thick material for the case, I'm going to go with the three eighth inch dowel jig. So let's get started by placing the bottom panel and the side panels together and make sure that everything is on the correct side and that nothing is flipped. And this is a really important first check because I already cut dados into all of these panels. So I need to make sure the dowels are placed along the correct edge. Okay, so once I know that all the parts are properly situated, let's lay these panels down and make sure the edges are all flush to one another and then clamp them down. This way the panels won't be able to shift when we lay out the locations of the dowels. Okay, now let's take our tape measure and begin making our marks. So I like to place the first one about three quarters of an inch from the edge and the rest will be evenly spaced every three inches apart. And since we have dados on the ends here, let's make sure this last one is placed about three quarters of an inch away from the edge of that dado. Once these are marked, I'm going to take my square and then strike a line through both panels at each of these marks. This is how I ensure all the dowels will line up. So once these lines are laid out and I've taken the clamps off, I like to put an X on the surfaces that will be drilled. And this is just another one of those little things I do to help me reduce the likelihood of messing up. And it's pretty straightforward for the bottom panel since we'll be drilling into the edge. But for the side panel, since I'll be drilling into the face, I have to first transfer these layout lines from the face to the edge. And I'm going to use one of these little squares to do it. Okay, and now we're ready to set up our drill. So the Rockler dowel jig actually has a depth gauge molded into the back here that helps us quickly set the depth of the cut. And since I'm using these one inch long dowels, I'm going to set the depth to half an inch and then tighten that stop collar. Now all we have to do is line up one of these registration lines to the layout line, clamp the jig down to the workpiece, and then drill. Okay, once all the holes are drilled on the bottom panel, now let's repeat the same method for the side panel. I'm going to use a longer clamp for this so that I can clamp the jig vertically to the workpiece. And if you have a vise, this will work even better. But this way will allow me to line up the jig to the reference marks that we transferred to the edge earlier. And then we can go ahead and drill into the face. All right, so once all the holes are drilled, it's time for the glue up. I'm gonna start by applying a small bead of glue along the dowels and then insert them into the bottom panels. And then let's apply some glue along the bottom of the side panel and make sure to get some glue into the holes as well. Now just bring the panels together and clamp them up. Once all the clamps are tightened, I like to add a few of these clamping squares to the assembly to hold everything at 90 degrees as the glue cures. All right, so I've got the case clamped up now, and as you can see, this jig makes really quick work of drilling perfectly aligned dowel holes and help to make the whole glue up process so much easier. So if you got some case work coming up and you want to use dowels to add strength to your joints, then consider using the Rockler dowel jigs. I'm Alex from Bevelish Creations. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.